So you've just finished building your awesome survival base. The exterior is done, but the interior is looking kind of empty. Luckily for you, today I'm going to be showing off 30 ideas for things that you could build inside of your Minecraft base or house to make your build that much better. A few of them will be useful, others will be purely cosmetic, and some of them will be a mixture of both. We'll begin with the basics. Every survival base needs some kind of storage, whether it's a full-blown automated sorting system or just a room full of chests and barrels scattered everywhere. You need somewhere to put all of your items. Alongside a storage room, another really important aspect of a Minecraft base is, of course, a bed, somewhere to sleep the night away. But it doesn't have to just be a single bed tucked away in a corner somewhere. You can build yourself an entire bedroom with a super fancy bed design. Instead of just placing down a big long line of furnaces to do your smelting in, why not build them incorporated into a kitchen, combining looks with function? If just a handful of furnaces isn't going to be enough for you, why not build a super smelter elsewhere in your base? These things can be pretty massive so you don't necessarily need it on show, it can just be hidden away underground with just the controls out in the open. These are perfect if you find yourself needing to smelt lots of items at once. If you need to build any sort of farms in your world, I'd recommend making them underground too. Unless your base is truly gigantic, you probably won't have enough room to build everything you want to. As long as you connect the controls or item collection up to your base or nearby, you'll be all good. I've got tons of farm ideas, but I think we'll save them for a separate video another day. However, there are wonderful little redstone creations called micro farms. They may not be as efficient as the bigger farms, but they're really compact and could potentially be built inside of your base if you can figure out how to cover them up nicely. So far we've had a lot of functional build ideas, let's change that up with some aesthetic ones that are a bit more fun. If you're someone who likes to go on adventures and collect valuables, why not build yourself an entire room or wall dedicated to them? You could display all of your rare finds as though it's some kind of museum, and potentially in the same area you can have a small writing desk with a lectern in the middle so you can actually write stuff down, maybe as some kind of journal filled with all of those items listing out where and when you acquired it. That would add some history into your world which I think is pretty cool. One thing that I build in every single one of my worlds is a map room. I lay out a big area with item frames and use tons of empty maps to construct a huge single map of my world that I can update as I build more. If you take anything away from this video, let it be that idea. Maps are amazing and a really underused feature of this game. If you've got yourself a furry friend in your world, instead of just sitting them down in the middle of a room, you could perhaps make something for them. Perhaps just a rug using carpet so it's a bit comfier with their food and water bowls nearby. Or maybe even a play tower, which probably works best if your furry friend is of the feline variety. Maybe your pet isn't a cat or a dog and instead has two wings, a beak and does really good impressions. Using a chain and a single piece of scaffolding as well as a trap door makes for a pretty neat parrot cage. If your house or base is on the smaller side of things, it might suit having a fireplace built into it. There's nothing in this game that makes me feel cosier than hearing the crackles of a fire while the rain pours down outside. Real quick, if you're enjoying this video, a like rating would be very much appreciated and if you're not already subscribed, please feel free to do that. Thank you very much. Another feature that you may already have inside of your base is an enchanting setup, but I would really recommend doing more with it than just placing 15 bookshelves and an enchanting table in the corner somewhere and calling it a day. It would require crafting some extra bookshelves, which is pretty expensive, but you can have it inside of your very own library. With 1.20 coming out, along with the addition of chiseled bookshelves, you could build a really immersive library with a wide range of literature hidden amongst all of the regular bookshelves. This next one might be more well suited outside of your base, but we'll roll with it anyway. How about building a pool to chill out at when you just feel like taking it easy? You could have some pool floaties and sun lounges too. It could even be the front to a hidden bunker with a secret entrance that only you know the way into. Here you could store all of your valuables and if you're on a server, you could even turn it into some sort of a doomsday vault so if all hell breaks loose on the surface and your friends start lighting up each other's houses with fire, not lanterns, you know you've got a backup plan. 
Depending on the size of your base, you could build an aquarium that holds a wide range of oceanic wildlife and flora that you can just stare at whenever you pass by, or just a small fish tank with a salmon or two bobbing around. Either way, it will add a nice bit of movement into your base, which I think is a really important thing to add into your builds, otherwise it can feel a little bit lifeless at points. So if you've got the space, why not make a minecart track that goes all the way around your entire build? It could even be how you get around from room to room. Villagers are noisy, so I would understand if you wanted to build this as a separate building altogether far, far away from your base, but a villager trading hall is a must if you want easy access to a wide range of items and blocks. They can take a while to set up, but I do think it's worth it in the end. A mob that's much quieter than villagers are bees, and they surprisingly make really good roommates. If you set up a honey farm in your base, you should definitely let your bees roam freely, coming in and out through any sort of windows you may have. Not only do they add a whole bunch of life into a build, but you also get free honey, and most importantly, if you build it near your bed, every morning when you wake up, you'll be greeted with the noise of all of your bees exiting their hives to start their day at work. It's a delightful sound. I know I said I would leave my farm ideas for a different video, but this is the last one and I promise it's pretty cool. Did you know that furnaces store XP? So if you have a single furnace linked up to a bamboo and cactus farm underground, continuously feeding the drops into the furnace, you can have continuously replenishing experience points that can be accessed at any time. I call it the XP machine. Of course, this front console would be the main thing inside of your base as it's where you get the XP from, but it does need those farms to work. Or at least, you need a fuel source, the bamboo in this case, and something to smell, which is the cactus. You probably won't need all of the cactus green it produces, so I just burn it all, but I think it's such a fun idea for an XP farm that can be built wherever you want it to be, so long as you have the room underground for the farms. You can't really go wrong with building tables, chairs, sofas, or any other pieces of furniture inside of your base. You could always turn the main entrance to your base into a hangout spot of sorts, with plenty of seating and some other decorations around, like paintings, flower pots, rugs, or even some armor stands on display. Which nicely links me to the next idea of displaying armor sets. This will be infinitely better in the Trails and Tales update once armor trims are available, but you could display different types of armors showcasing your best ones, a little bit like the collectibles ideas towards the start of the video. Or you could have a single armor set and tools on display that can also function as backup if you happen to lose your current gear. I love to keep all parts of my world and I try not to cover anything up so I can always go back and revisit it later. So if I ever dig down to diamond level and start a strip mine in the early game, I usually come back to it at a later point and make it look pretty. So if you first went mining nearby where your base is set up, why not build an entrance to it inside of your base itself? Then if you feel like you need to do some more mining again, it's easily accessible. There are quite a number of helpful utility blocks in this game that most players don't need on a regular occurrence. Well, instead of just pulling them out of a chest and slapping them down in your storage room whenever you need it, how about making a dedicated build for some of them or cleverly using it elsewhere in your base? For example, you could definitely build a brewing room with cauldrons, a netherwart farm and of course, brewing stands. Or you could build some kind of forging station to hold your anvil and grindstone, maybe even the smithing table too. A lot of these blocks have hidden textures. I made a video all about this if you're at all interested, but just by rotating the block, placing it upside down, or hiding it in a wall, it looks like a completely different block altogether. The stone cutter has a lovely stone texture that could work for a ceiling. Same goes for the smithing table. The side texture of a loom looks like a set of drawers. You get the idea. And if you can't find anywhere to place them in your base, there's always just the option of popping them under some trapdoors, so if you ever need them, it's just a case of flipping the lid up. Lastly, something I think every survival base should have is a viewpoint. Technically, this might be related to the exterior building, but as long as you've got a nice spot in your base with a good view, whether it be a window, a balcony, or up on a rooftop garden, you're good to go. I'd recommend not really building too much up there and instead just letting it be that place you go to if you want to watch the sun go down over your world. It's really peaceful. You should try it. So there we go everybody. Those are all of my ideas for today. 
I really hope you liked them and of course if you've got some more of your own feel free to pop them down in the comments below for everyone to read. Thank you ever so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.